Drum Alert Nation. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Oh my God. Deji is getting so much hate. Trisha Paytas has gone crazy. KSI, Rice Gum, we're gonna get into all of it, but first, we need to talk about this viral video. This Twitch thought basically was e-bagging on her stream, telling people that they need to donate to her or get a job. I mean, this is crazy. This thing has went viral. People are making parodies of it. Here is that clip. Roll it. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20, like that's where it is. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have, you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton, it's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow! I, did she just say that? Did she actually just say that? If anybody needs a job, it's you! You need a job! Because this entertainment biz is not working for you. I mean, if you were a successful streamer and you were actually entertaining and had some value, you would never have to beg for someone to sub to you or, or donate or any of this. But anyhow, since this clip has went viral, uh, I want to see if she had anything to say on her social media. We checked out her Twitter and we saw posts like this. Break up with your girlfriend. Um, no thanks. <laughs> and as we were looking at her Twitter, we were seeing who follows her and oh no, Carson, no! Have you lost your mind? Haven't you learned anything about following and dating these e-thoughts? Like, what are you thinking? Stay away from this girl. <laughs> this is like Katerina 2.0. Also in the news, guys, I got a good story. This is this is a feel good story, okay? And it's coming from Casey Neistat. Yesterday, Casey tweeted out this. Casey basically tweets out that in the morning he scratched this guy's car. The guy wasn't there, so he left him a note with his phone number just so he could pay for the damages. And when the guy texted him back, he said he didn't want any money for the scratch that Casey did on his car. He just wanted him to donate to a local food bank to help those in need. Casey responded by donating $250 that would have covered the scratch to the local food bank and everybody lives happily ever after. What a good story. Also in the news, Jake Paul, homophobic? I don't know guys, this is crazy, okay? I don't know what's happening. I don't know if there's a glitch in the system or what, but on Jake Paul's Spotify, there is a new single out called Homo flow. Yeah, you heard me right. Homo flow. Now we listen to this track and it's clear that it is not Jake Paul singing, but it is a song talking about sucking eggplants. So what exactly is going on? Were you hacked? Is this a glitch or are you like homophobic? Also in the news, coronavirus. It's affecting everybody and some more than others. Colix put out a tweet yesterday stating this. F my effing life. Showing that he got an email basically from like the, the uh, health professionals over there in the UK saying that he needs to stay inside at all times because he has an underlying health condition and he is more susceptible to like dying from the coronavirus than other people. I mean, wow, it's just scary for people with those issues. Thoughts are with you, homie. Make sure you're staying in and staying safe. But speaking about coronavirus, Deji. Remember when we reported that he said that he had coronavirus? Now, I was very nice to Deji right here on Dremler. I was like, hey man, 
I hope it's not coronavirus. I'm wishing you the best. You know, he, he, he uploaded this video saying that he thought he had coronavirus, but he was too afraid to ask his doctor. I mean, it was pretty suspect. I mean, there was a chance that it was clickbait, but I didn't want to take that risk. I didn't want to come on here and say, Deji is clickbaiting coronavirus and then come to find out the kid has it or something. I just didn't want to take that risk. But it turns out that Deji clickbaited coronavirus because the very next day, he uploads a video cracking jokes, doing a skit, hanging out with his girlfriend, like right next to his girlfriend. So, I mean, if he was actually worried about having it, then he gave it to his girlfriend. Came very clear that Deji clickbaited coronavirus and people are upset. In fact, we report it here that he hit 10 million subscribers and now he has fallen back under 10 million subs. All of his videos getting a ton of dislikes and his recent video actually getting a ton of dislikes too, where he says that he is down to box his brother KSI. All right, you know what? Okay, you know what? JJ does have points. If I did train and actually took the fight seriously, I know for a fact I would have smoked Jake Paul, hence why I want to fight Jake Paul now. Because I know I know I will beat Jake Paul. I get I get where he's coming from. But you know what? You know what? I'm gonna say this, alright? Since I'm lazy and whatever, JJ, me and you, after this whole COVID-19, after all this crap is done, me and you, let's just spar, alright? Let's spar me versus you. Let's actually have a spar. Now that I know what I'm doing in the ring and everything. Let's spar. I feel like I feel like we should spar. Me versus you. That'd be awesome. I hope you're up for it, cause that it'll be sick. But yeah, me and you, we should spar. That'd be lit. Honestly, that'd be so lit if we if we sparred. What is the point of Deji sparring KSI? KSI is gonna win, and Deji is just gonna make a million videos on it and milk it for everything. I I don't care. I don't want to see it. I don't really. I have no interest in seeing it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our final story, Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I made a tweet about Trisha Paytas last night, and it has gone viral. Let me explain. This is what happened. Okay, like a year ago, two years ago, Elon Musk went on PewDiePie's show, Meme Review, and he laughed about this deer meme being dead at the bottom of a pool, right? And so I saw Trisha Paytas tweet out her new video titled, I became a mermaid for a day. And I had the great idea of getting both of these images and putting them side by side. And this was the end result. I thought it was a good tweet. However, Trisha Paytas did not like that. She responded by saying, don't post my videos with someone laughing at them. I've been on YouTube for 13 years. Take me effing seriously, you prick. Whoa, okay, calm down. I responded by saying this. Someone laughing at them? It's literally Elon Musk. You don't know who that is? <laughs> laughing out loud? Trisha, no one can take you serious, but that's fine. And then... <laughs> Trisha responds by saying, I don't know who that is because I'm not a gamer nerd. F Minecraft. <laughs> I have no words. All I know is that if you're new here, you need to subscribe with those notifications on because as soon as I get the scoop, I will keep you in the loop. If you enjoyed this video, Take the time to slap a like on it. Guys, we're, we're blowing up. Dromler is on fire. Dromler Nation now over 5,500,000 subscribers.